Hi, I'm Irving, and I have no life, just like you. The Ballad of Irving. Irving. Big Fat Irving. Big Sport Irving. The 142nd fastest gun in the West. I hope we all remember what I thought of Half-Life. But it was popular enough that the makers put out a couple of add-ons where you get to play as different characters who appeared here and there in the original game. This one, Opposing Force, has you playing as a soldier who's sent into Black Mesa to wipe out everybody and destroy the evidence. Except that's not what you do. Most of the time you're fighting monsters and figuring out puzzles. So how does that... You know, if I ponder this too much it'll give me a headache. Let's just get into it. We start with a tutorial at a boot camp type place where we learn the controls and all that. Now, there's nothing different in the controls, so if you've played the first game, then you know all of it. But maybe you forgot. Or something. I don't know. Anyway, we start with this guy. My goal is simple. As of right now, you are all maggots. You will not speak until spoken to. You will not sleep unless told to do so. When I ask you to jump, you will reply with, how high? Do you get me? Sir, yes, sir! Okay, I have to ask, what's this guy like at home? Hi, honey, welcome home! Don't you hi, honey me! Where's my supper, maggot? It's right here, all ready for you. The last word I want to hear out of your mouth is sir! Now, what is it? Meatloaf, sir. Meatloaf! What makes you think I want meatloaf, maggot? You get in there and fix me a T-bone steak and a baked potato right now! Move it, move it, move it! Move it. Game over. You get your protective vest, and then your instructor wants to test it. good to know. I wasn't sure there for a minute. We have a couple of new moves like swinging on a rope. And instead of a flashlight, we have night vision, which should be pretty cool. Okay, that's as useful as a third appendix. I couldn't see a thing there and it left me in pain. It also has a timer, so at least once in the game it'll spontaneously shut off on you and you have to wait several seconds for it to recharge. I hope we don't have to use it very often. We learn that we have a way to get instructions and missions and stuff. We find a radio. So you finish the tutorial, and then it's on to the game proper. We open in a plane, or helicopter, or osprey, or something like that, while we see the opening credits and the info about our character. We're playing as Corporal Adrian Shepard. No, I am not doing the name joke. We see our companion vehicle get destroyed by one of those flying aliens, and then... We wake to a guy doing CPR, but apparently not on us. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, you've woken up. Corporal Shepard, is it? I've read the tag on your uniform. I'm glad to see my life-saving efforts weren't in vain. I can't say the same for him. I'm afraid you have been through a serious accident. Most of your friends didn't make it. I was hoping that you soldiers had come to rescue us, but now it seems we are all in the same situation. I think I saw a radio near the crash site where I found you. Perhaps you can go there and radio for help? So if the radio is at the crash site, what am I doing here? 
for that matter, where is here? We're inside somewhere and have to find our way out. After a little wandering around, we find our first weapon. Really? A monkey wrench. Well, let's see how it does. Wow, that's intimidating. Further on, you get your second weapon, a knife. This is a little more like it, I guess. A sun shot. Not long after that, you see this. Hello, soldier, sir. Ah. Hold that thought through some vents and stuff and you come out in that area where you find this. So the off switch was right over there, but this guy grabbed the electrified fence instead. May I have the envelope please? Thank you. The Darwin Award goes to this gentleman. You finally locate the radio and it tells you to get to the hangar so your squad can bug out. When you do, you see this. Uh, guys, I'm supposed to be on that plane. Got my ticket right here and everything. Guys? Guys? They left without me. So, it's time to find a different way out of here before the place gets nuked. There doesn't seem to be an exit until this. It's pretty basic stuff from here. Fighting aliens, getting help from guards for different stuff, solving puzzles, the usual Half-Life fare. But one nice thing about this game is the pacing. Since this is an add-on and not a full game, we don't need all the padding that we had in the first one. So we can move from one task to another in pretty short order without trying to memorize the Denver phone book in order to make the game longer. That's a nice change. And these radios show up often enough that you really don't have all that much game time where you're not sure what your task is. I like it. A way to check that task or objective from time to time would still be nice, but that would just be asking too much. Oh well, on we go. Like the main game, this has a few bugs. I do these captures on a fairly powerful desktop machine, and along about here I ran into this. completely locked up. I had to force an exit and restart the whole game. And some things just never changed, like the goofy movement controls. Later on in this area, you get your first chance to use the rope trick you learned in the tutorial.
a few more, plus some basic Half-Life puzzle stuff, and you come upon these guys. They feature some exciting dialogue. Government cover-ups were not in my job description. Squad, quiet down. One guy is a squad. Got it. Do you have any idea who's in charge of this operation? Uh, roger that. So, you do know who's in charge? Is this something you want to share with the rest of the class? The random dialogue continues through your whole time with these guys. But aside from that, they're pretty useful. In fact, one guy is essential since he's your first chance to use an engineer. Stand back, Corporal. This should only take a minute. I will not fail you, sir. This place makes boot camp seem like Disneyland. Man, if we make it out of here alive, I'm gonna buy you all a round of beers. Hell, I'll buy the whole government cover-ups were not in my job description. That takes you to yet another elevator. The engineer went straight onto it, but I figured I'd bring the other guy too, just because he has a gun. To get one of these guys to follow you, you're supposed to get near him and hit your action key. So I did, and he answered. So I head onto the elevator. Uh, where is he? What is this guy doing? Over here, dummy! Genius. Good. May we go now? That was way too much trouble. Still, they do have their uses. Sniper school sure paid off today. Not bad. That saves my health and my ammo. But eventually you have to leave them behind and go up through the ceiling. Further on, you find another radio. Mayday, Mayday, anyone copy? This is Tango Charlie 409 and we are under attack. Repeat, flag operators have entered the base and have opened fire on us. Request backup immediately. Over. Uh... So finally, you get to the surface and you meet this medic. Shepard, what the hell were you doing down there? Listen, we need to get our asses down to the extraction point near Lambda Sector. With any luck, we'll even get a shot at Freeman on our way out. Now this transit system should take us there, but the door is sealed up pretty tight. Jeez, where's an engineer when you need one? That couldn't be a clue, could it? Nah, that's way too far-fetched. I guess I'll find my own way in. Remember the random ninjas from the first game? They're all over the place here. From the dialogue, I guess there's some sort of black ops team who's there to wipe out everybody. I guess black ops is why they dress up in black like ninjas. Anyway, you take them out and then you find this guy. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I need a medic bad. You clear the way back to the medic and bring him into this guy, who just happens to be an engineer. Ain't that a coincidence? I think I'm gonna have a heart attack and die from that surprise! So the engineer opens the door your medic was trying to get through. Too bad he didn't look before he charged in.
Oh well, you can bring the medic if you want to, but he won't stay with you. Inside, you find these guys. Shepard! You Corporal, what the hell is going on here? Nobody told us about black operations in the mission briefing. Yeah, I mean, we're all on the same team, right? Right? Well, I'm not sure what their mission is, but we need to keep moving. There's got to be a transit car somewhere on these tracks. That's one nice thing about this add-on. The soldiers are useful. In the next room, they help you take out more ninjas. Let's get the hell out of here! In this room, you throw a switch to open the way to some rail tracks. Now there's only one problem. We got no car. Down the tracks you go. Fight more ninjas, throw another switch, and there's your car. As I said, this add-on doesn't need all the stupid padding that the main game had, so this ride is mercifully short. Time for another puzzle. This one takes you through ceilings and ducts and who knows what else, and you come out here. Oh, yeah. Hey, that was Freeman! And the little floaty things are all over the place. Now what? Uh, yeah, there was a convenient second portal. Or maybe it was the same one. It's hard to tell as fast as things are happening. And it brought us here. Why? Now we play a jumping game, but at least we get this. Figure out a way to that other portal up there in space, and you're back on Earth, practically right back where you started. Crush depth. That doesn't sound very good. We seem to be in an underwater complex, and I doubt there will be walls between me and that water for very long. Better get ready. On we go. Thank you for releasing me. I can help you access any secured area in this lab. There's a retinal scanner in another part of the place that you can't get through without him, so you take him over there. It is way too hard to talk through that thing, so I'll have to take my chances. Watch this. Fascinating. I never suspected such things could be. <laughs> Isn't it nice that the retinal scanner works through that big plastic hood he's wearing? Off to the next door to have him do it again. Oops. Uh, sorry, dude. So you find a convoluted way through the ceiling and into the room beyond the door. Now what's this thing?
it's a teleporter thing like you got that scientist out of. And why am I going into it? And what's it doing? Looks like it's just transporting random objects from the room into that water tank there. I wonder what... Why did I do that? So now you're making your way in and out of water areas and fighting alien monsters along the way. It's pretty basic for Half-Life and really a lot of fun. I have to admit, I like this add-on a lot more than the actual game. No padding makes for more fun. Who to thunk it? Somewhere along the way, we encounter another kind of alien. These guys have kind of a big quirk. When you kill one, it sort of craps out this little bug thing that can still hurt you. The nice part about that is, when you kill the first one, you can catch the bug and then you have another weapon. This thing is self-recharging. You have ten shots, but if you wait a few seconds, it'll refill itself. It's a handy thing to have, except when you try to shoot it underwater. Oops. Well, that didn't work. Really? 